Uh, hi, this is Kripa Karan Rajendran, founder of Algo Trading Firm Square of Dotton. So in this video, we'll be talking about a short-term trading strategy for stocks. It is specifically focused on positional short-term trading strategy, and it is really easy to execute. Specifically, people who are working professional, they just need to spend just few minutes of their time every month, where it is just a one trade per month strategy. So in this video, I'll be explaining about the rules of the strategy, how we backtested it, what are the backtest results, and how one can implement this strategy in the coming slides. Specifically focused on mean reversion strategy, where we are going to find the list of stocks from the FNO list, which is lost the most, like whichever is the top loser from the FNO stock list, we are going to buy that stock and sell it next month. So the idea behind the strategy is to find out what would happen if we buy only the top loser from the FNO stock list every month and sell it the next month. If we keep repeating this process, what would be the overall returns looks like? So that is what we are going to find out in this strategy. So for that, we have taken the historical data analysis, like we took the last 13 years data from NSE because if we have to test the strategy since we are testing it with you uh, know uh, FNO stock list we have to find a list of stocks which are part of FNO since beginning like if you are testing it with 2007 or 8 data you need to have the list of FNO stocks which are part of the FNO index at 2008 if you are testing this same example by 2010 or 11 whichever year you need to test it only with the list of FNO stocks which are available during that time. So we cannot test it with current FNO stock list because the FNO stock list keeps varying. So stocks like S Bank, Orcom, you no know, multiple these stocks which are not part of FNO currently were part of FNO at one point of time. So it is essential to test with the, the right data sets. So we did the same. We took the last 13 years of data of FNO stock list and then tested these conditions so the rules of this specific strategy is find the top loser from the FNO stock list at the end of every month and then buy that one stock and hold it for one month and then exit it and you repeat the process so that's all so the strategy is straight away simple find out all the list of FNO stocks and find the top loser for you know, of the FNO stock list and buy that stock in the cash segment. You can buy it in futures, but the risk is going to be higher. So we just use the FNO stocks as a filter criteria and buy that top loser stock at the end of every month. And then after one month of holding period, we're just going to exit it. That's why we keep repeating the same process. So we use the data analysis for the last 13 years. So as I said, the first step is to find out the top loser from the FNO stock list. So if you observe this data of Renuka Sugars, where it has shown monthly return as minus 25%, which means that out of all FNO stock list, Renuka Sugar was on the only stock which has lost the most. So our strategy is to pick the top loser. So we have to invest in Renuka Sugars. So by Jan 2007, end of Jan 2007, for the complete January month, Renuka was a top loser. So we invested in Renuka Sugar at 16 rupees. And our holding period is one month. So for the next one month, we were holding only this one stock. After one month, we exited at 15.1. So it, we exited it as a minus 9%. So it was a loss. So you just have to repeat this a month after month. So if you consider stocks like SRF, where you know, by March, that particular stock almost lost minus 20 percent so that was a top loser from the fno list so we bought the stock at 97 rupees by end of march and our holding period is one month so after one month this particular stock moved up 27 percent so our exit price is 123 so we exited it next month we have to repeat the same process and bajaj Hindustan was a stock which has lost almost 17 percent which is the top loser from the fno list so we invested in Bajaj in this term at 161 rupees. Our holding period is similarly one month. So after one month, we exited at 170 rupees. That was a 5% profit. 
So likewise, we have to repeat it month after month. Every month, pick up the top loser from their funnel list, invest in it. After one month, they exited it. So this is what we did. And once we keep repeating the same process and back to scenario from 2007 to 2020, this is how our overall returns looks like. So from 2007 to 2020, now year on year, these, uh, this is how the returns looks like. So it returned almost 260% returns overall from 2007 to 20 with the average returns of around 21.3%. So with just one trade per month, it has given 21% returns in the on a yearly basis. Remember this specific strategy is without any specific additional conditions like having any stop loss or no having any targets. The main idea behind this to test whether buying the loser every month and selling it next month has given any positive returns or not. So with 13 years of data, we could see that yes, it has given a positive returns. So buying a top loser from the FNO list has given a positive edge. So there are certain, you know, a trading edge that exists in buying the top loser from the FNO list because it rewards to mean and it is giving a profit. If you add an additional condition of stop loss, an additional condition of targets, definitely there is a room for improvement in the strategy. So you can add you know, other conditions to it and then you can test it out and then you can implement it. So uh, in order to find the top loser from the FNO stock list, there is a free charting free scanner available. So I'll explain how one can implement the strategy by, you know, by picking this top loser from FNO stock list using a two step process. So in order to find the list of uh, stocks that are top loser from the FNO stock list. I have created a small scanner in a charting where anybody can access it. This link will be available in the description. So where I have added a condition where current month close is lesser than the previous month's close. So we are simply looking for stocks which has closed below its previous month's close price. So that would give you all the list of stocks where the stocks name along with the stock symbol so the default is this is what the default columns looks like so i have added and modified these columns to give you the percentage change what is the current price and what is the last month close price and once you download this you will have the list of stocks with all the details like the symbol what is the percentage change the current price and what is the last month price so all you have to do is you have all the list of FNO stocks here, which is the current close is lesser than previous month's close. You just have to sort it from smallest to largest. So these are the list of stocks which has lost the most. So from this, we are going to pick up the top loser, which is Bajaj Finance. So if I run this on 18th of Jan, so as per the current data, Bajaj Finance is a top loser compared to the last month's close price. So we go ahead and invest in it. So instead of doing it on 18th of January, you just have to do it at the month end. So every so by January 31st, go to this chart ink link and just run the scanner, which will give you all the list of stocks and sort it based on the percentage change. You will get the top loser. You just have to buy the stock and hold it for a one month period. And then you just have to exit it after one month. That's all. So that's a detailed info about the short term trading strategy for stocks where the fundamental idea behind is just buy the top loser, hold it for one month and try to exit it after one month period. We have tested it with the last 13 years of data. And as you saw the details, it has given a good positive returns overall. You can just add in your additional filters like stop loss and target to make the system more robust.